Did God feel sorry for Moses with all of his weaknesses? He said, poor little Moses. Certain, something sure has happened to you. You fell from your degrees. Oh, my. Here you are. He's a great man, an intellectual. And there was nothing going to stop you. Brother, you had all your PhDs and LLDs and everything else. And now here you come confessing it's your nothing. You can't do a thing. You're, you're just a weak. No. God wasn't sorry for him. God never took pity on him. God had him cured then of all that stuff. He wasn't sorry for him. But we find out if you're putting it down, Exodus 4.14, the anger of God was kindled against him. God wasn't sorry for him because he's weak. He said, oh, Lord, I just feel so bad. I don't believe I could do it. God don't feel sorry for you. Amen. feels like kicking you around a little bit. See? Sure, God don't feel sorry for you. He gets angry with you. You're just getting in shape then to where he can use you. Yeah, Moses getting cured up. God can use him. He had the cure. He was away from human abilities then. He didn't have nothing he could rely upon then because he, he was ready then for the service. God said, 40 years I hear I've had you and Zephor fussing and carrying around out here in this wilderness where you can find out this human weakness and not where you're standing up there as a big prince. Hello, Dr. Moses. <laughs> Good morning, reverend sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Moses, you're the coming prince. Oh, we all think of you. Now you're out here in the desert with a bunch of sheep and a high-tempered wife. <laughs> That fixed him up. Yes, sir. Moses in an awful shape, and he said, Now I can use you when you realize that you're nothing. Now come on up here for this burning bush. I'll send you down yonder. Oh, my. God, give us some more of that kind. Amen. Give us some more weaklings. That's what we need, some weaklings. Sure. 